MIDI punch-ins inside of Reaper. I have a project to open here and I've got a vocal track that you can see uh, in your screen. And what I'm going to do is go down here and right click and insert virtual instruments. Uh, where is it? Insert virtual instrument on track and I'm going to pick Easy Drummer. And I'm going to not use these multi-tracks, although I could. Uh, so I'm just going to go straight up Easy Drummer. And my <clears throat> input on this track, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Um, it says MIDI input, uh, all MIDI inputs. So I'm going to go to Samson Carbine. That's my MIDI controller here. I have MIDI all MIDI inputs selected right now, and works great. I'm going to turn the drums down just so we're not blowing our heads off with the uh, volume. Okay, so I'm going to go and select uh, MIDI. Samson Carbine and I'm going to choose channel 1 from that. Not all channels. I can. All channels does great. But I'm going to select input MIDI, Samson Carbine, channel 1. Boom. Still. Everything still works. So. I'm just using channel one to try and avoid any kind of loop back between your Elise's Strike Pro drum kit and Reaper. Um, just minimizing the inputs. Uh, I have no idea if this is gonna do much good at all, but we'll leave the, uh, the kit here. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and record something. Let's see, I've got my tempo set at 84 beats per minute up here. Let me get, yeah, you can see that. And let me make myself a little bit smaller. I think I can do that. Yeah, we'll shrink that down a little. Okay, and I'm going to set my record function to record mode normal. All right, here we go. I'm gonna push record and watch what happens. Okay. Let's stop that. Now, I've also recorded my voice over that section, so what I'm gonna do is go in here and remove. Where's remove? Remove items. Okay, let's listen. I'll just push play. We hear the click. Sounds great. Okay, so let's just say that right here, at this point, I wanna punch in. So I'm gonna take that MIDI item, set my cursor there, split the item and let's just say I want to punch in these two bars okay so I've got those two bars basically removed at this point and I'm gonna highlight my timeline and I am going to go up to my record button here and select record mode punch in I'm gonna give myself two measures of lead in and it should start recording here I'm gonna uh, here we go and I've got it set to punch in. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Now, let's, uh, item settings, let's mute that one. Uh, item settings, let's mute this one just for the sake of argument and we'll listen. delete the keyboard Four. okay that's a terrible drum take but hey I'm not a drummer okay let's unmute this uh, item settings uh, mute oh and I can go up here and hit this M to to unmute those uh, we could do that let's listen okay so we notice there's an artifact right there at the beginning of this. I'm going to close the Easy Drummer interface so we can see this a little better. And I'm hoping, um, let's get this, let's make this a bit smaller so we got that up in the screen. Okay, let's look at this. If we zoom way in here, we can see that there is an artifact right here. There's actually a strike. And if I double click on this track, boom, you can see all of the kicks and snares. And if I highlight that and delete it, now that artifact is gone. 
And if I push play, and you will see that that artifact is now gone, although there is a little artifact here. Now, if I double click on this, man, and when I push this plus sign, it's zooming in, and now you can see that artifact. And if I push play again, let's get over to the beginning of that. You can see that that artifact, if I delete it, I highlight it and just push delete, boom, it's gone. And now, and when it punches out, there's a little artifact right here at the end. Uh, let's go over to the very end of that MIDI moment. And there is that artifact right there. We'll delete that and we'll close it. But there again, if I, re let's just slide this down and we'll slide this down. And we're looking at the beginning of our ins and outs. There's no artifacts. There's no big boom at the outro of the MIDI punch in. Um, and with the other track here, we'll listen again. I mean, I'm not quite sure what is happening with yours. I've got my set to um, input MIDI, Samson Carbine Channel 1. Yours would be the Elisa Strike Pro Kit Channel 1. And I'm not sure if on your Elisa uh, Strike Pro that you're gonna have to, you might have to um, tell it to use channel one to communicate with Easy Drummer inside of Reaper. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if this will help you. I'm using a MIDI controller, just virtually identical to your Strike Pro kit. All this is doing is telling Easy Drummer to work when I strike a certain key. And it works great. It's virtually identical to yours, but I'm telling it to use channel one. What was the other note? There was one other note that I had. Turn off MIDI through on your Alesis. There may be a setting inside your Alesis uh, drum machine that enables MIDI through. And I don't think that you need that. I think just think that you need the MIDI output. So you might need to plug that into a MIDI out uh, rather than a MIDI through. It might say out and through, but you might need to go into your um, Strike Pro and tell it to not have the through, because there could be a loopback function happening. So now what I'm gonna do is show you my options and preferences. So we'll go to options, preferences. Uh, we'll bring this up here. And MIDI devices, I've got my Samson Carbine, and if I right click on this, I have enable input and enable input to, for control messages selected. I have all of my output devices disabled. Uh, you can go in and click enable input and it shows enabled. You can click on that again and I disabled all of my MIDI outputs. Okay, now also that's in MIDI devices, audio MIDI devices. And I go down here to media and I go to MIDI and these are my settings inside of here. Now, what I'm not sure is if you copy these settings, <clears throat> your artifact will disappear or not. So maybe pause and, and take a look at this and change your settings inside of Reaper. I recommend maybe trying both. Uh, use your media MIDI and under audio MIDI devices, pause it and check your settings. Okay, now inside of Easy Drummer, I'm going to open up that and we'll look at our menu and we'll go to our settings, general. Here are my general settings. MIDI libraries, obviously. MIDI events. Enable MIDI out is not allowed. E drums. No MIDI mapping. 
sound engine, VZX optimized. I don't know if you have that on or off. Okay. What I would recommend is go back and pause that for each screen and go into your Easy Drummer maybe and make those adjustments to see if that doesn't help end the artifacts. Uh, I hope this video helps you, bro. Peace.